Hello, hello, my name is Nobody, and welcome to another another game in the Enter the Sahara Tournament. This match will be between Spring and Skittle for the Bronze Place match. Over here in the top right of the corner of the map, we have Skittle playing as the Ethiopians. Over in the bottom left corner of the map, we'll have Spring playing as the Portuguese. So, we're playing on Dry Arabia here. It was hidden pick of the nine expansion sims. We have uh, Ethiopians versus Portuguese. Let's take a look at their tech tree for those of you that are unfamiliar. Ethiopians are an archer civilization. Archers fire a little bit faster. Receive 100 gold and 100 food when advancing to the next age. Nice flexible bonus. Makes them very good early game. Pikemen and Halb upgrades are free. Very nice against cavalry civilizations. Their unique unit is the Shotel Warrior, which is a fast but fast high attack but low health infantry. We'll get to the unique techs if they uh, research them, and their team bonus is towers and outposts plus 3 line of sight. Notably, they do not get bloodlines, full archer line. Let's go over to Spring, who is now playing as the Portuguese, one of the African Kingdom's civilizations. The Portuguese are a naval and gunpowder civilization. All units cost minus 15% gold, including archers, uh, the swordsman line, the knight line, siege, and uh, and monks. We won't see any ship bonuses or fatorias this game. The unique unit is the organ gun, which is a siege unit. It's also very strong. Uh, we probably won't see the unique techs. Uh, if we see arquebus, arquebus is a uh, gunpowder unit affected by ballistics, very good for bombard cannons, and we won't see the team bonus. They do get bloodlines, notably. So now that we've looked at the the expansions, I, I would give the the I would give the civ advantage over to the Ethiopians since they do have that uh, nice early game bonus with all those extra resources, faster firing archers, and um, and free halb upgrade. Whereas the Portuguese only get the gold bonus really until they get into Imperial Age. So let's take a look at their maps. Uh, I see no stealing going on at the moment. So it looks like we can wall off over here in Spring's map, securing his left side. Two forward stones, that could be a big problem if a tower rush or a forward comes in. But we'll see if that happens. A forward boar might want to take that one first. Uh, looks like it'd be a little bit hard to wall over here. It could potentially wall through here, but it looks, uh, looks like he probably won't. It's a little bit too far. Side gold in the front. Back gold in the... In the Back gold in the back, of course. Uh, a little bit hard to get saturation on it, but should be manageable. And can wall on this right side if he uses quite a bit of palisade. Remember, walling takes it a little bit longer in African kingdoms. And uh, I would say not the best map from Spring. It's doable. It's not the worst. It would be a lot worse if he didn't have this uh, back back wood or these back berries here. So we'll see how he plays this map. Over to Spring's map. A nice wood line. It looks like he'll be able to get some good saturation on that. Can wall on this left side. Can wall through here, and I expect him to wall through here. Possibly could wall through here, but uh, a little bit too far forward. Burnt gold, that'll be a pain to defend, unless he builds his military buildings out through this way. Uh, stone, it's pretty close to the town center, uh, but it could get taken away. Stone in the back, pretty far away. Can lure these deer. And a side gold over here. So not the best map from Skittle either, the walls will be a little bit hard, but I would still give him a little bit of a map edge. Uh, his gold is more exposed, however. So it's a pretty even maps overall, we'll see how the players ha uh, use them. They have advantages and disadvantages to either map. So right now players going through their builds, I see foreign wood for Portuguese. Uh, that could be indicative of a drush. And foreign wood for the Ethiopians. Uh, Archer's standard, probably, for these uh, civilizations. For the Ethiopians, since they get the faster arch faster firing archers and all those extra resources. And the Portuguese, because they probably want to go into archers because they save some gold on each archer. And Dresh, of course, leads you into an archer build. In my experience, anyway. Alright, so players just, uh, just getting things up. Looks like this builder... Doesn't look like a wall. Maybe he'll wall through here, but uh, his gold would be poor. Spring now moving out to scout his opponent's base. It looks like he'll be first to scout his opponent. Spring just wandering around. Looking for these sheep, I assume. And um, 
Apparently Spring has, uh, I think he's, uh, saying whether, uh, whether Skittle has stolen his sheep, but he, I think he's about to find it right now. And, uh, Skittle r running right into the town center. It looks like he'll lose it. Uh, that's, that could be a huge loss. <laughs> Skittle replying, you, you stole my scout. <laughs> it was practically a gift, Skittle. It looks like Spring won't find these sheep. But, uh, you can- a scout's much more valuable than a few sheep. Here comes the barracks, so wall through this way. One of the nice things about the Portuguese Drush is that you only required- you're only required to take one gold, since each militia costs 17 gold. So that's just a little bit easier on your economy. So barracks coming up for both players right now. And, uh, Spring finally finding his sheep. Hola. So we'll be a little bit delayed in uh, scouting his opponent out, but uh, he's found everything he's got, and Skittle doesn't have a scout at this point. Although it looks like a Spring will go one villager behind, because this house did get up very late. So that's not good for him either. Right now, um, score lead for Skittle just due to spec scouting and maybe that one villager lead. So pretty messy for him. Spring looking for his opponent, going in kind of the wrong direction. Skittle, it looks like he's going to go for maybe a man-at-arms rush. He's taken the 10 extra gold, but has not made any militia at this point, and he's uh, heavy on these sheep. One of the very nice things about going for a man-at-arms rush with Portuguese is that uh, since you get that extra food and that extra gold, you really don't have to take uh, any gold at all to upgrade to men-at-arms. But I still don't- okay, here's the first militia. And uh, Spring's Drush a little bit delayed. Already nine minutes and only moving out now. Normally might not be a, uh, a big problem since he expects the Ethiopians to drush him. Uh, but however, that's not what Skittle has gone for. He's gone for the men-at-arms rush here, and it looks like sending villagers forward. Uh, could get caught out by this rush here, but already two militia out, so should be able to handle this. But Spring will see what's going on. Should see what's going on. Come on, Spring! Wake up! Alright, there we go. So three militia out already. Gonna be a battle for the small kill right here. And I wonder if Spring has seen uh, seen these villagers come forward. Uh, he hasn't reacted, reacted in any way I see. Scout coming in from Spring to clean this up, and oh my god, are these villagers going forward al also? That's a lot of villagers forward. No, they're coming back. So again, those two stones we talked about earlier, Spring won't be able to take out, uh, take any of the stone to defend from this. And Spring not up to the next age yet, so it looks like he will go for a fast castle build. And this forward could do a lot of damage if some walls don't come up. It looks like uh, Spring is pretty safe, however. Walls coming up through this way. And we could see a tower. A tower onto these two farms would be very nice. Uh, you have to keep in mind, Skittle is not taking any stone at this point, so he's just got the one tower. And that's pretty nice, an outpost. Ethiopians, again, they do get the extra line of sight on it, so it really doesn't hurt. can see where the farms are located. Probably will want to place this tower around here. And that looks like perfect positioning on the tower. Uh, I wonder if Spring will send villagers over to take out this tower. Skirmisher's coming out right now, just to give a little bulk to his army. Uh, he really could be making archers at this point, uh, since he has that 100 extra gold in the bank. And very nice tower, takes him off of three farms here, uh, which should significantly disrupt uh, Spring's fast castle build. Spring knows this and is making more militia. Thank you. 
So it looks like just by the damage this one tower has done, uh, Spring's Fast Castle hopes are, uh, are thwarted. Here we'll see men-at-arms coming in. And these villagers will battle down, batter down this palisade. Men-at-arms should be very effective against these skirmishers and villagers. Archery range coming down to spend some of this gold. Wow, look at all these, uh, look at all these men-at-arms. Uh, could even take out this tower over here. It looks like a Skittle's gonna be in some trouble. Here we come, seven, eight men-at-arms. And four villagers coming forward. Losing a, losing a militia. Will he lose a villager here? Not yet. Just gotta place those right under there. Skirmisher's only doing one damage versus men at arms at this point. The archer will be able to do a lot more. But not at the expense of the tower. One villager going down from Skittle. On uh, Spring, now one villager ahead in the lead. A lot of these men at arms did go down, however. And still making more, uh, more men at arms. I do like this idea. Should focus down this archer right here. Every archer that he gets with the men at arms is just uh, such great value. Being able to clean up another one. Second archery range coming up, and we should see an archer skirmisher mix here. And uh, now Spring having access to these three farms, which is a lot of wood. Spring's economy looking pretty nice right now, has a lot of farms seeded. Uh, could use a blacksmith for some uh, fletching right now, though. Let's take a look at Skittle's economy. Should be placing a, uh, a mining camp right here now. And has had a lot of idle time on these villagers. So right now, Spring 100 points in the score lead. Skirmishers and Archer are going to try to take uh, take some of these villagers off these farms, maybe. Slow as food economy. And uh, Spring not walling this side. I wonder if he knows this is open. Looks like he does know this is open. No fletching for either player right now, and a watchtower coming up on Skittle Stone. Taking stone at the back over here. Archer battle over here, the first archer goes down. Still two men at arms in here, and that's uh these two men at arms can really chase down these uh skirmishers. I wonder if uh, he continued making these. Either way, it's a very good idea against skirmishers. So Spring in complete control of this game so far. However, uh, doing horse color right now. It's a little messy. A lot of these farms are very low, uh, low food. Fletching now coming in for Skittle should help him deal with these men at arms a lot more. Uh, the, the skirmishers will do two damage now with Fletching against men at arms. And should see Fletching coming up from uh, Spring. Four towers coming from Skittle. Let's take a look at Skittle's resources. Uh, pushing everything to the limit right now. And uh, Spring having to retreat. Skittle's base looks pretty well protected at this point. Uh, these two towers helping out significantly. Still could do some damage on this right side here, especially if he finds the stone, but uh, it looks unlikely at this point. Let's 
take a look at Spring's resources. Looks like he may get up to the next age first. Has a good bank of uh, food. Nice wood economy. Needs a few more in gold, however. It looks like he's not making anything right now. Over here, the men at arms still doing a lot of work. Lost two skirmishers. And a nice sneak by the archers coming over here. Uh, however, it won't be that sneaky. Again, the Ethiopian's extra line of sight on there. And finally, the men at arms getting cleaned up by these two archers. So there's the extra line of sight right there. And it looks like uh, Skittle's sending this villager back. Uh, these stone miners still exposed. Let's go for Spring's point of view. Has not scattered the stone yet. But uh, he should suspect Spring is on stone. And that the stone is in the back. I'll see the sport. So right now, uh, four skirmishers, two archers, versus eight archers, but at the bottom of the hill. I think this will be enough here. A few of these skirmishers are injured. And Spring going up to the next age now. Spring a little bit low on gold. Or maybe he's chosen to discontinue archers, I'm not sure. Let's check where Skittle is going up to the next age. <laughs> wow. Skittle, no resources at all. No food. Uh, it's probably because of all these skirmishes he's had to make. And uh, only one archery range also. Uh, it shows you how much investment he has put in, into these towers, uh, how delayed he had, he was uh, from going forward over here. Spring going with scale barding armor, so he has chosen to discontinue archers if I'm correct. I'm gonna make the stable in the back to try to be sneaky. Again, this outpost a lot of line of sight. And uh, I think cavalry definitely the better option here. Skittle will have free pikemen when he gets up, but he won't be up for some time. And uh, somehow, uh, somehow, uh, did these archers clean up the skirmishers? I think I saw them in the front. Uh, they somehow got away with their lives. So looking like uh, looking like uh, Skittle's in a pretty dire situation here. And a lot of uh, villagers on gold now. Here comes the first knights. I wouldn't be surprised to see chain barding armor coming in straight away. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh that's mean. I would bet you, uh, three or- probably with plus one armor, uh, three or four knights could clean this up. And now continuing to crossbows. This mixed army will be very hard to stop. Even with, uh, free pikemen. I would like to see plus two, though. Archer's coming in around in the back. Oh, he's not gonna find anything though. He's not gonna find anything good anyway. He would be smarter just to keep him there. <laughs> and it looks like the archers are gonna come in at the absolute worst time. <laughs> here, here, here they come. Trying to get this is pretty smart. Trying to get as many villagers as he can from this, because uh, he probably won't even be able to take out one knight with this mount. I'm just getting mowed down. Villagers running for their lives.
And this one will get away to tell the tale. This is looking pretty GG, if I may say. More towers coming up. I'm trying to trying to take a uh, trying to take a tip from Tato's playbook. <laughs> and four four archery ranges coming down right now. Oh, this is pretty sloppy. Skittle. 700 gold in the bank. You can't blame him for plopping down this many archery ranges. And chain barding armor now coming in. With chain barding armor, that'll be, uh, what, four defense against five attack. These archers only doing one damage. And the tower's only doing two. being really indecisive here. Just gonna go for the villager kills. With plus two armor, they shouldn't uh, take much damage at all from these archers. And spring right now could just flood the map with knights. <laughs> Skittles, uh, Skittles economy a mess right now. Can't take any of this wood, has to go to the wood in the back. And we'll target the towers next. More knights flooding in and Siege Workshop will cap it off. There's the GG coming in from Skittle. So Skittle, early game. I thought the uh, Men at Arms was a pretty good idea. Uh, coming in over here, very nice tower over here uh, to take away him off take a spring off of three farms. Uh, spring doing the right thing and going into Men-at-Arms, and that really uh, really helped uh, turn the game around for him. Uh, able to kill a lot of the skirmishers, kill the tower, uh, pushed out. Skittle invested heavier into towers, towering each of these main resources, uh, investing heavily into skirmishers, which delayed his uptime, uptime so much. And then Spring doing the switch into Knights uh, to seal the deal. Let's take a look at the achievements. A more units killed from spring, that's not surprising. Better economy overall. And of course, this is probably the main tale of, tale of the game. 25 minutes and still not clicking up. So, first point here going to Skittle. Oh, sorry, Spring. And in two minutes time, I'll load up the second game. <laughs> 